Hi everybody, it's Alex Fournier for alexfournierart.com and Artistic Purposes. Today's going to be fun. We've got a whole lot of stuff going on. So we're going to be dealing with character, with costume, with acting, and with a theme. Today I'll be drawing from just a few samples of a larger photo set called Made of the Fields that'll be available for purchase in the description from Haley. Haley and I have some plans to collaborate on some future sessions, so keep an eye out. We can't tell you the exact details yet, but I'll be sure to let you know when it drops. Today's episode is brought to you by Still Breathing. If you're going to be forced to stay at home and you're not drawing one of these sessions, you might as well read something. And if you're going to read something, you might as well read something good. Still Breathing is an award-winning novel with an African heart that will take your breath away. It's available in digital, softcover, or hardback formats from a wide variety of fine retailers. You can check for the link in the description, or you can go to books, the number two, read.com slash Fournier. All right, today I'll be using General's Compressed Charcoal 2B. This starts as a just a flat rectangle. This is just sharpened from drawing with it. And we'll be using a kneaded eraser that needs some love. There you go. There you go, buddy. How does that feel? All right, let's get started. All right, so we got a maid of the fields. Okay, I'm gonna go a little loose today. We're thinking more costume than, than life drawing on this one, but I'm gonna first just map out a few shapes so that I make sure I don't completely run out of room, which I sometimes do. Okay, I definitely have to make some room for the hair and her arms that are up there as part of the pose. Okay, so Basically, just trying to put a few blocks in here. Okay, there's a line of action here. Okay, and like I said, I'm kind of treating this more like partly costume drawing and then partly figure, okay? And when you think of costume drawing, it's, it's like, it's a little more, a tiny bit more cartoony than figure drawing might be, okay? It's a little more like concept art, okay? All right. Okay, I'm starting right in and part of that is it, since it's costume and not figure, I'm spending less time getting things perfect and more time just getting the character. Okay, all right, so we've got stomach already in, breasts in. Um, I'm gonna try to kind of map some of these based on rhythms. So we've got this rhythm coming up here. Okay, I can already tell maybe I've gone too, too high and so we'll <laughs> maybe lose some of her hair. Oh well. Okay, we've got chin. Nose. Okay, just putting some eyes in here. Okay. Like I said, we're going a little more costume and character, a little less figure drawing. Okay. And Okay, and I'm also just trying to simplify a few of the areas here. So around the Around the bridge in the nose, I'm trying to trying to map that out and see which thing I might want to move. Either I'm gonna move the eyes, yeah, I'll just move this eye. Okay, so I'm gonna move that eye a little bit further over. Okay. And these aren't perfect perfect but I'm gonna try to like 
get it started here pretty fast. Okay. All right, so since we've got some of the basics put in here, I'm going to just move ahead a little. on a few features here. Okay, so we do have a little bit of a, like a chiseled kind of jaw here. I try to apply that. Okay, we might have to apply that with a shadow coming up. All right. Okay, we've got some eyebrows going to come up here. So we've got some hair coming across there. Okay. I'm trying not to fully commit to, to the hair yet. I'm, I'm just getting a few tones. Okay. And kind of just trying to get the, the volume of it. Okay. All right, so then... I'm going to try to get to the bottom of her neck here and the collarbone. Okay. That'll work. Okay, so the basket is being kind of held over the shoulder. Okay. Okay, so we do have to account for where is the arm actually. Okay. So. I'm going to say it's there. Okay, we've got a room, room for the basket. Room for these grapes that are kind of there. Okay. Let's leave it a little more room over here for the elbow. Okay. And of course, I decided to go right off the edge, but that's just me. Get too excited about drawing bigger. Okay, all right, so we've got, actually, I'll bring this a little further down. Okay, and I'm going to try to not overdo anything here because I've got a plan for kind of bringing this together. So I don't want to overdo it yet. Okay, I'm going to... Erase out some of that tone. Almost just to start from scratch, right? Okay. Okay, so you see how the wrinkles get shorter over there? Okay, and you see I'm going to play up some of these muscles. Okay, so I've done some stomach muscles here. This is where the center is. Okay, I'm going to try to play with the, the shadow here. Okay, and let's get a little, kind of a little bit of tone underneath. You see how that brings out the muscular kind of anatomy part okay okay a little bit of a turning edge over here okay maybe a tiny bit too much okay we have we want to room leave room for this kind of hip right here 
Okay. And don't want to curve quite as much on that. All right, so down here, what we want to do Okay, there, that's better. All right, so I'm trying to, to bring that across, okay? And there's kind of like a little bit of a knot there. Okay. Okay, and actually down here, a lot of times all for the hip, I'll come up from underneath because sometimes I get a better, better curve. Okay. All right, and here, we're gonna do a couple of our wrinkles we like to do so much, okay? All right, and before I do the turning edge, I'm gonna do some of the detail work. All right, so on this, on this leg, okay, so it's coming forward here, but I know from anatomy, there'll be a shadow like right here, okay? And we can't, like I can't see the bottom from the reference of this, but but I'm thinking it's around there, okay? All right, soften that up. Okay, and this might be a little too dark. All right. And in the reference, this does come back around this way. But, let's see, I might just like it this direction. There's some movement. So I'm gonna leave it for now, okay? All right. Okay, so now, okay, kind of exaggerating this a little, okay? Because like I said, this is costume a little more than figure drawing. So some of that is about exaggeration and, and attitude, right? Although you could do that figure drawing as well. Kind of do what you want. All right. Okay, so let's... Let's just map out a little bit more of, see if I can draw circles. Let's map out a little more of kind of where the grapes are gonna be and the size, just cause I wanna, wanna kind of map this out a little bit cause there are gonna be some hanging down here, okay. Okay, some big grapes on that one. Okay, and I'm looking forward to attempting to make these look shiny like they do in the picture with charcoal. We shall see. I haven't drawn a lot of grapes in my time. And also what I'm trying to do is make sure that I'm drawing some grapes that are kind of behind other grapes. Okay, I'm not going to do the leaf that's sticking behind because it might it might just not communicate exactly what what it actually is. So I'm going to leave that detail, and it's not just because I'm scared; it's because I'm smart. 
Oh, it's for many years of adding that in there and then being like, oh, why did I do that? Okay, and so oh, we got to adjust where the where the handle of the grapes are. Okay. Pretend it's there. And her hair. I get some hair in there. I've yet to figure out exactly like how I'm gonna treat her hair in terms of trying to communicate like the curliness without making it too dark. Okay, so we got some grapes implied. I do want to get the side of the container implied. There, it's like wicker. Perfect for charcoal. Okay. And I don't see the other side of it on the top, so I'm going to, you know, I'm going to say that that these grapes just kind of fill the whole thing. All right. Okay, and I'm gonna, on this part of the reference, I'm gonna cheat and just make it a little smoother up there instead of making that hang. Okay, and I'm gonna erase some of these tones just so I can build in the, the details. Okay, and I'm trying to trying to take into account Haley's chin or chin like jawbone is a little bit thinner than I have here. So I'm gonna try to kind of communicate that in here. Okay, and like you see some of the time when I can't get it right, I'll use it kind of like a pencil. Sometimes it just is too dull to really do what I want. Okay, Let's see where we are here. Okay, I'm trying to correct the, the nose it needs to be a little further that way. And I might have to soften the mouth up and correct that a little bit too just based on a little bit based on just where I put her eyes okay and it's all about adjusting as you realize something okay All right. All right, so let's start to do some of these fun details. We've got some wrinkles here. A charcoal that's dull. Okay. All right, so another thing we could do if we wanted is I could act like this same kind of frill is up there as well, which I'm going to do. Okay. And that'll just play up the character there. And over here, we don't really have to worry about it, but we can imply it. It goes off the page up there. Okay. And what else could we do here?
Okay, a little turning edge. Okay, so now we've got really the fun part here, and that's going to be like really detailing, you know, little shadows. Okay, we've got belly button tones here. Okay, I'm kind of uh, just emphasizing like which which thing is on which border. I think I did a little too dark. Okay. And over here, okay. All right, let's do some little bit of designs before we do the tones and this is also somewhere where we can um, we can play a little bit with the wrinkles and say and pretend like you know are these wrinkles some are disappearing around around different parts right right so you do that kind of thing where they disappear around the edge and, you know, it's something else on the other side, okay? Showing different patterns and basically trying to play up the fabric nature of it. Okay, and I'm going to do a turning edge here because I want to make sure that this highlight is easy to see. Okay, see how I have these, the turning edge there. Okay, so we got some fabric, you know, some wrinkles. Okay, I don't quite know what the design is there, but I'll just kind of add it back. Okay. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, this might be a little too heavy duty there. All right, okay, let's do a little turning edge here and turning edge here, okay? And so what we're trying to play off is, is trying to get some volume kind of, kind of popping out here. Okay, I might have done it a little too heavy. All right, and then what we're going to do is, in this case, there's like this doily kind of material, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to do that, but it's going to, it's going to take some detail work. So what I'm going to start by doing is, is I'm going to draw just the outer part of it very lightly. Okay. And what I'm going to do is on this side, 
I'm trying to emphasize that it's underneath here, right? And over here, I'll get a little bit of that impression here as well, but, okay. So all I'm trying to say is that that material is on top, okay? All right, so then what I'm going to want to do is we'll see if this works. Might take, I might have to make these bigger because okay, so I'm trying to draw these little boxes that hopefully are going to end up looking see-through. I don't know if this will work or not, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay. It's doing something. All right. And if we didn't want to do all these boxes, we could, we could do it another way where it's really very implied. Right now we're we're kind of going pretty far overboard. But hopefully, hopefully some, some of it kind of rings. Okay. Especially on the ones where I darken the right, the right side, I think it could work. All right, so we've got kind of see-through on that part. Okay, and let's go to... Okay, and so now, I'm gonna go back to my other piece here. Okay, so now what we do have to do though, is we definitely have to have this shadow be a little higher so we can have this um, reflected light underneath, okay? It's gonna make this a lot more three-dimensional. Okay. Okay, and what else can we do? And then we could just get an impression up here that way. We're kind of on both sides of it, bringing out some three-dimensionality, okay? Same thing up here, just gently. Okay. All right, so that's gonna come up to here. And here there's some, some wrinkles in the, in the clothes, which I'm trying to imply there. Okay, and let's get a few kind of wrinkles in there. Okay, and let's get a turning edge right there. All right, I'm trying to also just throw a cast shadow under here just to just to make that pop out. All right, so. Now, we ought to be able to kind of bring this to life here. Okay, 
and what I do is the part of my finger that's harder, kind of near the fingernail on either side, that's the part I put on the the harder shadow, and I let the bigger part of my finger be doing the softer part of the shadow. It's not like perfect, perfect, but it's it's more exact than not doing it at all. Okay. All right, what, what else can we do here? All right, so let's deal with the hip. And we'll deal with this. I added just a little bit more hip there. Gonna... Okay. Okay, so you almost you really can see posture and movement here. You know, either these grapes are really heavy or she's like, hey, how's it going over there? Okay. Seeing somebody else in the fields. Okay. Okay. It's a little full lap there. I gotta try to get a little more curviness to that. Every once in a while, you find a value you've put that's maybe a little too dark, so you can always go back in and push the eraser right on top of it. And it can usually just remove a little bit of the sharpness of it smashing it in and sometimes you gotta go back and fix what you what you put in okay so can we do more of the face here okay so try to remove some of my earlier lines that maybe were wrong this one goes up Really trying to also get the expression she's got with the eyebrows or something communicated there with with her face, so I don't want to lose that. It's a little hard to, to get here. I'm going to go with standard pencil on it here for a second. Sometimes you can't tell like which eye is more correct, so you don't you were like fix one, but you don't wanna you don't wanna make the next one until you can tell whether you've made it better. Okay. She's definitely looking to the side here. Okay. At least I think we're capturing like a little bit of the attitude or at least the character here. Right? It's like, ooh, what is that over there? What do we see? Okay, and I think I have to fix the nose a little because I think I was too far over. Just realized with the high res photos from Haley's set that you can purchase, I can actually zoom into the face, and which I just did that now. Would have been nice to know earlier.
So for the rest of you who are going to purchase your set, you can zoom in. Actually, I think I'm going to give make her nose a little lower. Okay, and I'm going to simplify a little. Okay, that looks better. Sometimes you can get overboard, and if the scale the scale of uh, how big you're working isn't right, if you if you do too much into the nostril, it's like, well, we don't need that much. Okay, so we got a nice expression here. I'm actually gonna cheat and make a little different expression here with the lips. I wouldn't say it's cheating, I'm just deciding. Okay, and I think I gotta fix the chin a little bit more. All right, so there's shadow under the lips. Okay. There's a lot of times I try to leave a little room for leeway before I really commit to part of the chin. So I'm trying to not commit until I really think it's right. Okay, and then okay, it's coming through pretty cute. I think this expression is working. Okay, uh, where am I? Okay, and I gotta try to figure out how to. There we go. Try to communicate how to show. The form that's there and the volume that's there, but also show how sharp kind of the, the angles of the cheekbones are. So I think I did all right. Okay. All right. This is pretty fun so far. Okay. So we've got, I'm just going to very gently. Fill in her lip just a little. Okay. Yeah, maybe too much. I was trying to just give a highlight, but it's just too much until I do the next detail. Alex, what are you doing with the lips? All right, so sometimes less is more. Okay, so what do we got here? We got a little bit of shadow. We're drawing the shadow shape. We're not just going wild, okay? And we do this detail now that I'm zoomed in on this high-res photo from the photo pack. Um, there's actually really cute kind of sideways accordion kind of curls here that I didn't even see. And 
again, I might... Do there. Okay. Okay, and those are kind of fun textures next to the wicker basket here. Okay. All right, so we're kind of doing some fun different different textures now. I'm going to try to make the hair stick out like three dimensionally and but not get too bogged down in the details. So I got a little bit so far, okay? And that trick is gonna be basically, um, I'll do it over here, okay? That trick is based on this exercise, okay? Got the ball, the light source, cast shadow, okay? Everything kind of re revolves around understanding this. Okay, so you've got your your cast shadow, you've got your core shadow, your reflected light, and your highlight, okay? And so the trick is, so on her bangs here, what am I doing with those, okay? If it was a ball, okay, I'm doing the bangs there, leaving the reflected light, and then I'll do the cast shadow or like the edge, the end of the material kind of on the bottom. Okay, and it's gonna pop out. So that's why I'm doing that, not not to the edge of it, but I'm doing it in the middle of it. Okay. Same thing over here. Okay. It's almost like I gave her a crown of some kind. It's kind of cute. Um we could, I could I could throw Some leaves there. Maybe a goddess of some kind. Okay. All right, so let's jump over to this arm. Let's do a little bit of a turning edge on the side of the arm, okay? And we can actually do a turning edge on the inside as well. Okay, and we can do a turning edge on the other hand. Okay, do you see how these, these start to pop out? Okay, the other arm, we can't quite deal with that. We can just imply that it's up there. Okay, all right, we made this really dirty when we were drawing the mouth. Okay, all right, how are we looking? Okay, you're over there getting some shade under the tree and here comes somebody with the grapes. All right, I said earlier we wanted to try to figure out how to how to make grapes look three-dimensional and we're gonna see if we can okay I think they're gonna kind of follow the same theory as this for the most part let's add some core shadows in here um, okay let me make them a little bit more round okay and I think there's also these highlights on them, so I'm going to see whether these are coming across. A little hard to draw that small. All right, so let's just draw them with these core shadows. Okay, got some tasty grapes. Let's add some vines in here through kind of negative space okay all 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm just drawing a little bit of depth to it, like drawing the the shape that might be around a grape leading to another grape, kind of the the empty parts there. Because I don't really want to draw a million grapes, maybe a few. Okay, they're getting tasty. Okay, and I'm gonna just kind of darkening up kind of near her arm there. All right, so this wicker basket looks like it does kind of come over her arm a little. Okay, and then so then we would just make sure there's a little bit of a shadow on her arm. All right. Okay, can we add a little bit more on her face here? Okay, what I'm trying to do is can I... There we go. Cool. Sometimes you're not sure if the charcoal is going to be hard enough in the area where you're looking for. All right, so what I'm doing is trying to trying to gain some three-dimensionality by showing this rim light on her face. Okay. I actually want to do it on the other side too, just a little bit. And let's do it on her forehead. Okay. You see how that pops out? And now I know this chin was a little too low. I um, hope I don't ruin it trying to save it. Okay, because I still wanted like a highlight under the chin. There we go. Okay, so, survived. Okay, so, I'm trying to make sure that I do these tones in, kind of in their boundaries and don't get out of hand. Okay. This is, got to get like some turning edge by the side of the neck. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to try to play with some shadows here and figure out if I can if I can make this work. Right, so we've got some of these, we've got shadows that we can make, okay. Okay, a little bit of shadow. Okay, then we've got our our see-through part. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to do it in reverse here. Okay, so can I can I bring a few highlights back out with that? Maybe, maybe not. Let's try with the kneaded eraser.
Okay, and then I'm going to just go back in with just a few details. It's almost like we just need the impression of it, and then I'm going back with a few details that are visible. Okay. All right, so I think we need a little more definition on this side. Okay, more definition on this side. Okay. A little bit turning edge here. Okay. All right. Okay, just trying to get a little bit a little bit of definition in those stomach muscles. Okay, all right, what are we thinking here? What we're trying to determine is, you know, how many details are enough details. Okay, and can I? Okay, so we've got some more hair going on here. Okay, it's pretty well defined up there. I don't want to mess with that. Might want to soften this up just a bit. Okay, got a highlight up there. Okay.
Okay. All right, well, that was pretty fun dealing with character, with costume, with a theme. And what's really fun for me is the drama that's there. This is like as if it's part of a movie, part of a comic, part of a, a character. So I would suggest anyone who's interested in drawing costume and character or having a little drama, good lighting, figure model as well, any of those kind of photo sets, I would definitely check out Haley's Gumroad in the description and download those for yourself. All right, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Send it to your mom, your grandma, your friend, your neighbor, especially if they like art. And definitely look out for other content. I've got some more collaborations coming up with Haley in the future. And be sure to check out her photo sets in the description. All right. Have a great day.